the graph of the function f is the red curve given here. We must interpret this red curve, this graph, and figure out where the function f is discontinuous or is not continuous. That's part A. Part B is to figure out of the points of discontinuity whether f might be right or left continuous at these points or neither. Let us first look at the points where f is discontinuous. Clearly, at the point x equals negative 1, f of x is undefined. At uh, this point, um, f is discontinuous. Some people may prefer to say that at this point f is undefined, so it may not be continuous or discontinuous because it is not defined. But it is customary to say that if we have a point like this negative 1, for which f is undefined, but near this point negative 1, on both sides of this point, f is defined. Then we say that that is a point of discontinuity. f is not continuous at that point. So negative 1 is, is a first point of discontinuity for this function. Next, the point uh, 2 is uh, clearly a discontinuity because at that point um, the values of f jump from negative infinity to, to 2. So the, here we have the second point of discontinuity. It corresponds to x being 2. The third point of discontinuity is at x equals 4. There the values of the function again jump and therefore this is a discontinuity. The point x equals 6 is uh, yet another discontinuity because at that point um, the function f does have a limit. That limit is uh, apparently 3, but the value of the function at the point uh, 6 is 0 as indicated by the dot on the x-axis at the place x equals 6. Therefore, this function f has four discontinuities. They are x equals negative 1, x equals 2, x equals 4, and x equals 6. From uh, this graph, we have to figure out whether f is right or left continuous uh, at these points of discontinuity, or neither. And clearly, f is uh, discontinuous at x equals negative 1 because it is uh, not even defined there. It is discontinuous at x equals 2 because the values of f jump. It is discontinuous at x equals 4 for the same reason. And it is discontinuous at x equals 6 because uh, the limit of the function f at that point is not the value of the function. So what about these points? At x equals negative 1, the function f does not have... Uh, neither left nor right limits, or they are not finite numbers. And the function is undefined at x equals negative 1. Therefore, at negative 1, the function is neither left nor right continuous. At the point x equals 2, f is continuous from the right, because f has a limit, which is 2, when x approaches 2 uh, through numbers larger than 2. And this 2 is also the value of the function at uh, x equals 2. Therefore, f is right continuous. It is not left continuous at that point. In the same way, at x equals 4, the function has the right-hand limit, which is the same as the value of the function. Therefore, the function is right continuous at x equals 4. At x equals 6, the function is has uh, both um, right and left hand limits, they are 3, therefore the function has a limit at that point, but the limit is different from the value of the function, therefore the function is not right nor left continuous at that point. In problem 2, we have to figure out the numbers at which f is discontinuous. f is given by the expressions x plus 1, if x is at most 1, 
by 1 over x if x is between 1 and 3, 1 and 3 excluded, and by square root of x minus 3 if x is greater than or equal to 3. We have to figure out where this function is um, continuous or discontinuous and whether it has left or right limits at uh, these points of discontinuity or neither. All right. So this is a function f of x equals x plus 1 if x is uh, less than or equal to 1. It is 1 over x if 1 is less than x less than 3 square root of x minus 3 if x is greater than or equal to 3. If x is uh, less than or equal to 1 then f of x is x plus 1. This is a polynomial function. It is continuous. Therefore this function f is continuous for x less than 1. If um, x is between 1 and 3, the function f of x is 1 over x, it's a rational function. This is a continuous function. When x is between 1 and 3, clearly x is not 0 and 1 over x is continuous. So we conclude that f is continuous on the open interval from 1 to 3. If uh, x is greater than or equal to 3, f of x is square root of x minus 3, this is a couple composition of a root function, square root of x, and polynomial function x minus 3, and uh, this takes uh, positive values in the interval from 3 to the infinity, that is x minus 3 takes positive values, therefore root is defined, and this is a continuous function for x greater than 3. We have to figure out what happens at uh, the points x equals 1 and x equals 3, otherwise the function is continuous as already established. So we uh, investigate the continuity of f at x equals 1 and x equals 3. Therefore, therefore we have to compute right and left limits at these points. Now the left limit of f at uh, 1 is the same as the limit of x plus 1 as x approaches 1 and that limit is 2. The right limit of f of x at x equals 1 is the limit of 1 over x as x approaches 1 through numbers larger than 1. That limit is 1 over 1, which is 1. These different one-sided limits do not agree. Therefore, the function f does not have a limit at x equals 1 and therefore it is not continuous. It's discontinuous, it is neither right nor left continuous at x equals 1. What about x equals 0? So f at, uh, excuse me, x equals 3, f at 3 is square root of 3 minus 3 which is 0. Limit of f of x as x approaches 3 through numbers smaller than x is a limit of 1 over x as x approaches 3 through numbers smaller than 3, which is 1 over 3. Limit of f of x as x approaches 3 through numbers larger than 3 is the same as limit of square root of x minus 3 when x approaches 3 through numbers larger than 3 this limit is zero. So these one-sided limits uh, exist, but they are different numbers, therefore the function f does not have a limit at x equals 3, and therefore it is neither right nor left continuous at that point.